Hamlet and Laertes received the same types of education and were taught to follow the same ideals and morals. This made both of them exhibit comparable aspects of respect, love, and revenge. Although Hamlet and Laertes display similar qualities, they vary in that Hamlet is indecisive, rational, wise, and motivated by reason while Laertes is impulsive, irrational, and passionate. Despite similar upbringings, no two people can be typically alike. Even twins raised in the same milieu, living almost the same life, and doing same activities, are likely to behave differently when confronted with the same circumstance. As depicted in Shakespeare's Hamlet play, people develop their own way of life, personality, and character. Hamlet and Laertes had similar upbringings and shared family customs. They were born and raised into nobility and treated as such throughout their lives. They received the same types of education and were taught to follow the same ideals and morals. This made both of them exhibit comparable aspects of respect, love, and revenge. Although Hamlet and Laertes display similar qualities, they vary in that Hamlet is indecisive, rational, wise, and motivated by reason while Laertes is impulsive, irrational, and passionate. Throughout the play, Shakespeare draws attention to their commonalities. Hamlet and Laertes are royal sons, with Laertes being the son of King Polonius' trusty advisor and Hamlet being the heir of Denmark's former genuine ruler, King Hamlet. This is evident in the way both families live, in which they enjoy quite similar lifestyles, and their children Laertes and Hamlet are remarkably similar. For example, Hamlet and Laertes have a special bond with their fathers. In Hamlet's first soliloquy, he expresses his admiration for his father by stating that he was a great monarch, comparable to the brilliant sun god of Greek mythology and that he loved his wife, Gertrude. Moreover, despite the fact that Laertes has no idea who murdered his father, he swears that he will avenge him matter what happens to him later. Laertes will feel obliged to avenge his father. This indicates that Laertes had great love for his father and that he would not leave to see anyone harm his father without taking stern action. Another connection to Hamlet and Laertes' ostensibly identical behavior is their mutual esteem for one another, despite the twisted assassinations and deaths of their treasured friends. Hamlet and Laertes are about to engage in a duel, which Hamlet did not know its aim. Finally, to Hamlet's chagrin, he discovers that the duel's prime objective was for Laertes to wreak revenge for the deaths of his father and sister. Despite this, Hamlet overcomes his irrational behavior and publicly apologizes to Laertes for the murders of Polonius and Ophelia. With the apologies, Laertes responds that he has pardoned Hamlet. However, he must keep the fight to defend his respect and that of his family, which Hamlet gratefully accepts. Despite all of Hamlet's and Laertes' similarities throughout the play, there is one clear difference between them, how they behave when presented with the difficult duty of revenge. It is clear that Hamlet's character and personality, which leads to his vengeful action, is rational, whereas Laertes' revenge is motivated by passion and instinct. When Hamlet's father appeared to him as a ghost, revealing that Claudius had slain him, Hamlet ignored the information and never proceeded to get his revenge right immediately. Hamlet's response was that of a thoughtful and meticulous person. It took a while for Hamlet to believe that the ghost was his father's good spirit, conveying honest words so that his soul may finally be at peace, but again, Hamlet desired further confirmation. Hamlet was not willing to act unless he was certain and had proof of Claudius' guilt. Hamlet together with Horatio, was able to authenticate the truth conveyed by his father's spirit and tell Claudius' culpability through the scene he added to the drama, which was re-enacting his father's death. Hamlet had been struggling with moral dilemmas and concerns up until this point. Before any more blood was spilled, Hamlet sought to be sure Claudius was the killer of his beloved father. It took evidence and reason of Claudius' culpability for Hamlet to fully be convinced that he could revenge his father's death. In contrast, Laertes never acquired the same level of proof to avenge his sister and father's deaths. Even though he has no idea who is to blame for either, Laertes is passionately eager to threaten vengeance. Ironically, Laertes says that he would cut Hamlet's throat even in church, drawing a starking contrast with Hamlet who refused to kill his uncle in church. 
This shows how Laertes is driven by impulse and unwise personality to take his vengeance against the person who murdered his beloved ones. Experience and wisdom are things that truly come with life. Every moment of one's life is a great opportunity to learn how to act and react in different situations. Individuals can be raised in the same parenthood, home, and school environment but adapt very differently when confronted with extreme situations as avenging the death of a loved one. It is unthinkable and incorrect to say that another person would do the same given the same condition. Life's challenges are what propel one to the next level and that no two obstacles, no matter how comparable, are ever the same. You can find this and many other essay samples on our website studycorgi.com